As you know, we've been trying to avert a shutdown. Oh, my earring just fell. We're trying to avert a shutdown here in Washington. And you will not believe what occurred today. So we bring a bill to avoid a shutdown. And at, just imagine this, there's all these Democrats walking around with buttons that say no Republican shutdown. So we put a bill to avert the shutdown, to temporarily for 45 days fund the government so our military can get paid, our federal employees can get paid. So we don't shut down the government until we could finish all our appropriation bills. And what do the Democrats do? The first thing they do is do a motion to adjourn the House. Now, we had less than 12 hours to go before midnight tonight deadline. They do a motion to adjourn, followed by a bunch of speeches to delay a vote. And then our fellow colleague from New York, Jamal Bowman, a member of the Socialist Squad, actually pushed, pulled the fire alarm to create a fake emergency to prohibit a vote on the House floor. I mean, this is the United States Congress people. This is not some New York City public high school. And so I'll tell you this much, what he did was a federal crime and I'm putting in a resolution to expel him from Congress. I hope he's gonna be charged with the federal crime that he committed today. Uh, by the way, we did get that bill passed and it's over at the Senate now. So they could all take down their Republican shutdown pins and they can put on a Schumer shutdown pin if the Senate doesn't do its job by midnight tonight and avert a shutdown. So just pass that along that that's how far the Democrats would go to create a shutdown so they could blame Republicans for it. Biden homage is working.